Welcome to e Sikshana program. I will continue fifth module. Okay, last uh, we completed uh, till the pyrolysis. Uh, design uh, criteria for uh, installation, factor affecting the installation we have completed. Okay, design criteria for uh, installation. Uh, okay, uh, it, uh, the mature and well functioning waste management system has been placed number of year from number of uh, year we have uh, mature and uh, well functioned waste management system has been placed okay insertion especially relevant for the dry bin content in two bin system for un uh, segregated waste pre treatment is necessary in the insertion design criteria of the insertion we have to uh, understand something about uh, uh, this uh, process okay while design uh, criteria okay first one matured and well functioning waste management system has been placed in from number of year okay for number of year okay number of year okay well function waste management okay insulation is extremely relevant for the dry bin content in two bin system for unsegregated waste pretreatment necessary okay this is the second design criteria for insulation okay third one lower calorific value lcv of the waste must at least 1 1 1450 uh, uh, kcl kg throughout all the season for the lower calorific value Okay, of the waste must be least 1450 KCL, KCAL kg throughout all the season. The annual average of uh, low calorie value must not be less than 1700 KCL by, by kg. Okay, this is uh, very important. Low calorie value. Okay for the waste must be 1450 throughout the season kcl by kg throughout the all the season annual average of lcb must not be less than 1700 kcl by kg okay uh, this is the third design criteria of the insulation lcb lower color value must be least 1450 throughout the season it should not be less than 1700 kcl by kg okay annual average the furnace must be designed in a line with the best available technology ensures a stable and continuous operation complete burning out the waste and fuel is yes, very very important point should be remember the furnace should be furnace should be designed in a line with the best available technology to ensure the stable and continuous operation complete burn out the waste and fuel gas okay very very important okay furnace is aligned with the best available technology the burning temperature may be 10000 okay 5500 2000 or anything this should not melt okay complete burn out the waste for the fuel gas okay this is a very very important lining of the furnace this is a design criteria fourth the design criteria okay fifth one supply of combustible waste should be stable and amount to the at least 500 ton per day this also we have to uh, uh, design criteria we have to, the supply of the combustible waste should be stable and amount okay amount, at least 500 ton per day for the furnace burning we need at least per day 500 ton waste okay per day 500 ton waste the supply of combustible waste it should not be less than 500 ton okay it should not be less than 500 ton produce electricity and steam can be sold 
sustainable basis feeding into general grid adequate uh, traffic traffic it is possible to absorb the increased treatment cost throughout the management uh, tripping fees okay produce electricity as steam can be sold sustainable basis feeding into the general grid adequate traffic it is possible to absorb increased treatment cost managing charge tripping fees okay produce electricity from this or streams can be sold this we have to keep in mind in design kind of we can produce the electricity by heating the by burning the waste in insulation okay we will get the stream also from that it can be sold okay this also we have to keep in uh, in our mind while designing this one produce electricity sim can be sold okay in sustainable basis or it is uh, possible to absorb increased treatment cost toward the management tripping fees okay and skilled staff can be recruited and maintained we have to think about skilled staff who knows the about the installation process okay they have these staffs are recruited and maintained okay this is also very important skill staff uh, that is also we have to keep in mind while designing the installation okay since the capital investment is very high the planning framework is community should be stable enough to allow planning horizon of 25 year or more okay the capital investment is very high in this uh, installation okay process we have to plan for that uh, for 25 year it should be no problem more than 25 year it should be no problem if the increase in population increase in waste also there should not be any problem for 25 to more because investment is very high okay investment is very high for that reason okay community should be stable enough allow to planning okay 25 year or more okay if a population increase waste increases that all can be managed for 25 to more year okay this is also very very important we have to keep in mind okay pre feasibility study of technology red positive conclusion for the respect it further uh, uh, pre feasibility study of uh, technology led to the positive conclusion of uh, respective okay strictly monitor system proposed and monitored okay very very important it is monitored properly strict monitor system is proposed okay strict monitoring system is proposed and monitored okay in this strict monitoring system where the, what the temperature should not be increased time should not be wasted okay turbulence and uh, sc uh, strictly maintained that uh, ashes should be removed everything strictly maintained in this insulation process okay next point optimum oxygen content lower than 6% should be maintained in order to minimize the corrosion ensure the complete combustion the carbon monoxide content fuel gas fuel gas okay is the key indicator of the quality of combustion very very important okay oxygen lower than the 6% okay should be maintained in order to minimize the corrosion and complete combustion okay the carbon monoxide content in the fuel gas is the key indicator quality of the combustion carbon monoxide content in the of the fuel gas is the key indicator of the combustion okay <coughs> sorry Uh, this is the optimum oxygen content less than 6% should be maintained in order to minimize the corrosion one point is very important to minimize the corrosion 
okay, uh, lower than 6 percent uh, oxygen contained, okay, ensure the complete. The carbon monoxide content in the fuel gas is the key indicator of quality of combustion. Carbon monoxide content in the fuel gas is the key indicator of quality of combustion. This is uh, another uh, important uh, design criteria. Okay, strictly monitoring is also very important design criteria. Okay. Fly ash act as a catalytic and DO now on uh, synthetic 200 to 450 degrees Celsius of dexin and furan. In order to reduce the formation of dexin and furan, it is imperatively maximum fly ash is removed before gas cool down 200 to 450 degrees Celsius. Okay, this is also for uh, uh, fly ash, maximum uh, fly ash should be removed because uh, to reduce the formation of dioxins and furans. Okay, uh, dioxins and furans. Okay, dioxins and furans. To remove the dioxins and furans, uh, we have to remove the fly ash, maximum fly ash is removed before the uh, gas cool down, okay, 200 to 450 degrees Celsius. This is a very important. Another design criteria, the fly ash act of the catalytic dynamo system, synthetic 200 to 450 degrees Celsius, formation of uh, dioxin and furan. Okay, dioxin. In order to reduce the formation of dioxins and furans, uh, we have to remove the maximum fly ash. Ga gases, uh, gases cool down at 200 to 450 degrees. This is also very important uh, uh, design factor. Okay. Then we go for uh, fuel gas produced in a boiler should treated by the alkaloate fuel gas okay treatment system okay uh, this fuel gas produced in the boiler should be treated by uh, elaborate uh, fuel gas uh, treatment system this is the one of the fuel gas produced boiler should be treated by the uh, elaborate fuel gas system treatment system okay uh, this is also very important design criteria of the okay this one okay uh, this elaborate uh, elaborate fuel gas treatment system is also very important for the fuel gas in the boiler system okay uh, this uh, completed uh, uh, design criteria of uh, okay design criteria or uh, this one of the one by one design criteria First one, uh, well furnished waste management system placed for uh, number of year. First one, uh, insulation uh, for the dry bin uh, in the two bin system, segregated pretreatment is necessary. Second one, design criteria. Third one, lower calorifier view waste must be 1450, okay, KCL, KG throughout all the season, annual average LCV. Maintained for 1700 kg uh, KCL kg. The furnace must be designed line best available technology. Any uh, burning or any temperature is high, it should not be melt. Okay, very important. Supply combustion uh, this 500 tons should be per day while designing the internet, it should be available. Okay, combustible waste should be available in this. Okay, produce electricity and stream can be sold for the, this one. That also we have to keep in mind while designing. And skilled staff should be recruited and maintained. This is also very important. Skilled staff should be maintained, recruited and maintained. Very, very important. Okay. Since uh, capital investment is also high, okay, more than 25 years, planning for more than 25 years, there should not be any problem, any increase in the population, increase in the waste or anything, this should not be the, the problem, okay. 
pre feasibility study of the technology any improvement ok it is also problem ok strict monitoring uh, we have to monitor properly ok monitor properly this system otherwise it is uh, it will be a, a danger ok it may take catches fire or anything ok and also corrosion avoid the corrosion we have to maintain lower than 6 percentage of oxygen contained and a carbon monoxide fuel gas ok if it is the indicator of the quality of the combustion. Then uh, we have this one ok dioxin uh, and uh, furans removal uh, we have to remove the fly ash ok formation of uh, dioxin for, for to reduce that we have to remove the fly ash ok. And fuel gas produced by the boiler treated ok allocate fuel gas treatment system ok. This is about the design criteria of uh, total uh, uh, this uh, insulation what I told that we have to keep in mind while designing the this one. Now we go for this is the one of the very important new technology coming nowadays ok uh, in the waste management process or it may be a hospital waste, it may be hazardous waste this they are converting waste to the energy very very important ok waste to energy electricity is produced from the waste ok first we are telling solid waste unwanted and uh, useless but today uh, the uh, technology is improved ok the energy recovery system ok solid waste to uh, waste to energy power and streams gases we can produce everything ok first you can see here ok uh, the waste uh, this uh, truck filled with the waste will uh, dump the waste here ok here is the one of the it will take bucket type it will take the waste to the hooper ok here ash ok here fire take place it may be 1800 degree celsius ok it may be 1000 degree or more than that heat is produced ashes will come down here here is ash conveyor belt it moves to ashes moves to the this one A truck will uh, take the load and take it outside this ashes this waste it will burn about 1000 degree to more than that ok stream will be produced streams and fuel gas will be produced two type uh, it is produced one is stream one is fuel gas ok fuel gases ok streams will move to the turbine ok here generator turbine generator ok it will rotate turbine generator it will rotate electricity is for mega megawatt electricity is produced that is the one of the power generation from the solid waste waste to energy here we will uh, pro, uh, electricity is produced power generation this is uh, one of the energy ok power generation second stream uh, fuel gas will move here ok gases ok gases will be produced water vapor clean fuel gas clean water vapor clean fuel gas ok gases will be produced ok here fuel this is the process first one is first they are given here nitrogen oxide removal system nitrogen oxide removal system ok first we can see here first one ok here after the burning the waste streams is developed and fuel gas this one nitrogen oxide removal system second one you can see here second one mercury and dioxin removal system here from the fuel gas mercury and dioxin removal system here ok third one add gas removal system this is the add gas removal system ok here 
this is the duction removal system mercury and duction nitrogen oxide removal system here one uh, this one mercury removal and duction removal gas removal system fourth one particulate removal system okay particulate matter removal system fifth one pollution control test here while uh, leaving the air to the atmosphere okay pollution control test these are the five poll uh, pollution control system this okay after that power is generated gas is generated fuel gas this is the process of uh, waste to energy okay very very important modern technology waste to energy process okay this is the one of the process it may be used in medical use uh, waste it may be hazardous waste or lot of thing in this energy is required technology solid waste see energy recovery include technique method uh, minimizing the input of energy overall system by the exchange of energy from one sub system to overall system another the energy can be any form either sub system but most energy recovery system exchange the thermal okay energy in either sensible or okay latent form okay it include any technology or a method of minimizing input energy overall system by exchange of energy from one sub system to overall system with the another okay this is the energy recovery energy can be any form in either sub system but the most energy recovery system exchange thermal energy in either sensible or latent form okay in some circumstance the use of enable technology either dunnel thermal energy storage or seasonal thermal storage uh, seasonal stes which allow the heat or cold storage between the opposing season it is ne is necessary to make the energy recovery practicable okay this is the process in circumstance uh, in some circumstances the use of an uh, enabling technology uh, either dunnel thermal energy storage or seasonal thermal energy storage stec which allow the heat or cold storage between the opposing system in necessary to make energy recovery okay practicable one example is the waste heat from air condition uh, machinery stored in a buffer tank to aid in a night time heating another is a stec application in a foundry in sweden waste heat recovered and stored in a large mast native bedrock which penetrate by the cluster of 140 heat exchanger equipment okay and uh, this is to acknowledge this video is taken from youtube uh, resource uh, thank to youtube i will display this video in late 2011 greenlight energy solutions tested the pilot waste conversion pyrolysis system at the site of its production partner in the moscow region followed by the environmental analysis conducted by sgs This system has become the world's first and only processing facility based on high temperature pyrolysis. It is ready for commercial operation for processing mixed municipal waste as well as many other waste materials. On November 8, 2011, the facility was presented in operation to potential customers and the media. This innovative equipment is certified and implemented into commercial production. 
the Waste Conversion Pyrolysis Facility, equipped for processing raw municipal waste, will be composed of the following main elements. A sorting line, a shredder, a dryer, a storage bin, a reactor, a main burner, an oxidizer, an off-gas cleaning system, and an energy block. Municipal waste initially passes through a sorting line to pull out metals by means of magnetic and ballistic separators and to filter out inerts, glass, and concrete materials that are not suitable for pyrolysis. The remaining waste is chipped in the shredder and passed to the dryer. In the dryer, the moisture content from the waste material is reduced to 20%. The properly prepared waste is then collected in a storage bin. A transporting conveyor moves the waste materials from the storage bin to the reactor feeding unit, where it passes through a hatch. The hatch takes in waste material while keeping air out of the processing chamber. The waste is carried through the reactor feeding unit by a motor-driven screw conveyor. The pyrolysis process takes place in a specifically designed pyrolic chamber, our patented retort. The retort is heated indirectly by burners located on both sides of the retort's external case, a heat chamber, which assures uniform heating of the material and flexibility in process control. The waste is heated to 705 degrees Celsius upon contact with retort walls and is thereby reduced to syngas and a solid carbon char. The retort is made of cast iron alloy with chrome and aluminum. A special formula has been developed to give the pyrolysis chamber its unique wear-proof and heat-proof properties. The control temperature in the retort eliminates any dioxins in the carbon char and allows for further use of this byproduct. Dioxins and furans are therefore formed in the gas fraction only. The waste is moved along the retort by air-cooled screw conveyors. The specific design of the conveyors allows for effective thermal transmission from the retort walls to the waste material and its additional mixing while preventing adhesion of the waste. Testing has revealed the clarity of both retort walls and blades of the screw conveyors, confirming effectiveness of the high temperature pyrolysis of the municipal waste. The outside pit in front of the reactor hosts a driving gear, which has been specifically designed to synchronize the motion of the screw conveyors in the reactor. The driving gear consists of two gear motors and a mechanical reduction unit. The carbon char produced is collected at the bottom of the reactor and discharged through a hatch into a special storage bin. Syngas is mixed with air in the main burner and directed to the oxidizer for combustion and further degradation. In the thermal oxidizer, syngas is burned for 2.5 seconds at 1200 degrees Celsius. This allows for complete molecular decomposition of the dioxins and furans contained in the syngas while transforming it into carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxide, and water vapor. Burners and thermocouples are installed at the oxidizer's case to monitor and maintain the specific conditions required for destroying the dioxins. The pyrolysis process is fully automated, thus being safe and easy to control. The heat of the oxidized gases, together with the retort flue gases, generates steam in a waste heat boiler. A part of the oxidized gases is used for maintaining the temperature of the pyrolic chamber. The heat energy of the steam generated in the heat exchanger can be transformed into electric energy using a steam turbine. Each waste conversion pyrolysis processing line generates from 5 to over 7 megawatts of electric energy per hour, depending on the feedstock composition. The system's off-gases are filtered in a multi-stage depuration system for environmentally safe release into the environment. The production capacity of the waste conversion pyrolysis system is approximately 300 tons of unsorted raw municipal waste per day, with average moisture content of 60%.
process begins at the reception yard, a fully enclosed site to avoid the emission of odors to the outside, with capacity to receive 20 walking floor semi-trailer trucks simultaneously. Waste received will be mechanically transported through the use of overhead cranes to the feed hoppers, which are connected to the combustion grates and where a controlled temperature of over 1,000 degrees Celsius is maintained. The resulting combustion gas will exchange heat with boiler water tubes to generate high pressure and high temperature steam. The steam will feed the turbine for electricity generation the cycle finishes at the air cooling condensers, where the exiting turbine stream is condensed back to water. The resulting water returns to the beginning of the process, completing in that way a closed loop cycle with zero fluid discharge. The plant will have four separate combustion lines, which will operate simultaneously and remain active 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The energy produced by the Mexico City New Waste to Energy Plant will be interconnected to the National Electrical System and will distribute 965,000 megawatts per hour on a yearly basis to the Mexico City subway network to power the 12 subway lines. This energy is equivalent to the required for powering 120,000 homes. The plant will be equipped with state-of-the-art technology available for treating flue gas emissions, thus ensuring compliance with environmental regulations not only in Mexico, but pursuant to the highest global standards. It will also be equipped with a real-time emissions monitoring system to guarantee a proper control of emissions within the allowable levels. The combustion byproducts are to be adequately managed and may be employed as construction material. This project complies with the highest quality standards to maximize energy recovery thanks to a more efficient management of urban solid waste. Dear student, uh, you have watched this video, Waste to Energy uh, in the Mexico, this one, and uh, you have studied uh, uh, the solid waste management, total detail, okay. Uh, in the solid waste management, olden days, uh, solid waste uh, are discarded and thrown. Now the technology improved, all the wastes are useful, they are the money, garbage uh, is the money, not a waste. Okay, uh, you know that uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, waste to energy, collection of the waste and a lot of uh, things has been came. First uh, we came to know that uh, from the first model uh, we came to know what are the sources of the solid waste, where the solid waste will come, okay, that is very important, okay, what are the sources, it may be domestic, uh, institutional, industry, or commercial or so many things the waste will become uh, generate okay and uh, this waste uh, are uh, collected how it is collected okay from the now uh, by the Swachh Bharata and uh, our smart city uh, they have their suggestion to collect the waste dry weight and uh, wet waste okay dry waste more for the segregation wet waste more for, for uh, making the okay uh, segregation and recyclable or uh, vendor will take the waste that type by it has gone and transportation system modern vehicle has came now a lot of modern vehicle vacuum cleaner uh, vacuum uh, they will suck the waste okay paper waste and uh, that all vehicles already I explained how to collection and uh, how to collect the waste okay uh, this one transportation and uh, the main is transportation uh, there is a heavy traffic in the city that is also one of the problem for the waste management uh, people okay 
uh, traffic and uh, getting the lands, uh, uh, landfill site nearby the city is also very difficult. Lot of objection will come for that selection of the landfill site. This is also very major problem. It, it, more, it should be most to the conjected uh, roads and a lot of traffic is there, lot of public problem that also one of the major issues. So uh, this all, uh, this is the uh, major uh, issues we have find in uh, India, not only India, in abroad also. Okay, then uh, uh, these are sources and uh, route optimization and uh, how to collect the waste. There is a uh, rules has been changed. One rules 2000, uh, we ha they have done on the rules, uh, solid waste management rules. 2016, they have changed some of the rules amendment 2016 uh, that already I told which are the areas should be covered, who are the generator, okay, which are the transportation system, okay, who are the authorities to check uh, this one and everything they have changed uh, this one, okay. Uh, second model processing, okay, processing, uh, this is, there are different types of separation of the waste, if the, uh, this uh, magnet, uh, iron content is there, okay, magnetic separation, okay, air separation, so many separation of the waste and a mechanical device for volume reduction, for the strength reduction, for so many uh, reduction of the waste, this mechanical device is also used for the combustion and everything, mechanical device is also used for the, okay, uh, in the processing technology, lot of processing technology, modern technology also, now it is there, modern type process segregation of the waste, okay, a different uh, waste, they are put, uh, we, if you put dump the waste, it will segregate separately, paper, this one, cloth, wood, everything is separated by the segregation. Lot of municipality has purchased that one, okay, segregation of the waste. Then third one, okay, third one, composting, okay, this composting, uh, composting and landfilling. Composting and this waste to uh, compost, it has been organic waste to compost without adding any chemicals, no, that is called organic composting, okay. We are using the chemical for composting, urea or anything, uh, super nitrogen, it contains uh, so many uh, chemicals in this, but uh, we are, uh, from the waste we are converting to compost, it is organic compost, okay. It can be used for uh, all uh, this one, for growing the fruits and vegetable. It is, uh, it will not harm to, harmful to our uh, health, okay. This is also very, very important of manure. There are different types of vermicomposting is there, windrow composting, Bangalore method, indoor method, so many methods are there, composting already we have studied, okay. And uh, this also landfill site, this is a very important uh, site selection of the landfill, okay, and uh, we have to get the landfill near the, okay, near uh, uh, to the cities. There are different types, area method, trench method, and uh, some canopy methods are there area method uh, we already studied in the uh, syllabus, okay, already area trench method also and canon method. These are the three methods of the, uh, this one, uh, a landfill, a landfilling site and a lot of uh, effort by the, uh, this uh, management, uh, waste management to search this one, a landfill site is nearly available near to the cities and transportation mode and everything, okay, where, uh, where it should most and, uh, okay. In collection of the waste also, different types, okay, uh, what I told, uh, stationary system is there and uh, another one is the house system and stationary system. In a house system, container is taken to this one, uh, dump yard and, uh, and empty and keep there only, a nest site most stationary container will be there only, they will fill the container, keep there only, that is the system. Uh, three models, uh, fourth model is the uh, sources of biomedical waste uh, and uh, e-waste, 
and uh, hospital way, uh, this one hazardous waste and another one is the mm, okay, construction waste, where are the sources of construction waste, okay, are all the, these four sources of uh, biomedical waste, uh, this is very dangerous waste, there are hospital waste that contain uh, okay, body part, uh, everything and blood and all this one toxic materials. So that is the sources that uh, treatment is very difficult and collection is also different category, different bags are used for that, okay, collection system and uh, different bags, uh, yellow color, different, different bags are used and uh, they are collected, uh, they are transported with uh, this one well packed vehicles and uh, treatment is done uh, with, uh, okay, as per the rules of the hospital waste management okay uh, dumping the this one landfilling and a lot of the the burning of the waste is a major technology here okay burning insulation about uh, 2000 degrees celsius more uh, heat is produced from that we are producing the energy what you see in the videos okay and e-waste there is a lot of e-waste from the mobile so we have seen the lot of sources that also uh, segregation is done, they are supplied to the vendor, okay, this is a very, uh, this is, we will get a lot of profit uh, from that, okay, uh, I explained the e-waste. Hazardous waste, one of the dangerous waste from uh, like uh, nuclear waste and uh, radioactivity waste uh, that uh, should be take a, a very important uh, government has a strict role for the transportation, collection and disposal of the hazardous waste okay there are a lot of uh, checking is there by the government okay it should not move out to the atmosphere it uh, causes cancer health problem and uh, safety vices and uh, this one last one is uh, construction waste uh, this is also lot of construction is going on in india a uh, major uh, person all the dump waste by the renovation demolition and uh, this one lot of construction materials are uh, this are for iron uh, or uh, this one uh, lot of uh, aggregates this one uh, shown the video of uh, how uh, the construction waste can be segregated in so many countries they are segregated this uh, uh, they are uh, segregated uh, and uh, uh, the fine aggregate uh, will be separated and coarse aggregate steel is separated and lot of uh, stones are separated, okay. That way segregation is done in the construction way, that transportation, everything, strict rule has been done by, to the construction people also, okay. They have to keep the clean environment in the construction site. Okay, last model we will go for the energy, insulation, uh, this uh, pyrolysis, what are the types of insulator, uh, what are the measure taken to insulator, okay, or, or design criteria we have to keep in mind while uh, doing the installation process, okay, furnace should be um, very uh, good, uh, it should not melt for uh, 10,000 degrees Celsius, liner should be and everything should be uh, maintained, okay, it should be uh, uh, when we can, it is, high, it is very costly, Okay, for the uh, this construction of the, this uh, insulation, it should be minimum uh, life is uh, more than 20 years. Uh, that all the created we have to take on. And uh, uh, pyrolysis and how pyrolysis is the it can organic content in the waste. It is difficult to burn by the thermal. This pyrolysis process is done. And now we go for final, uh, this one, uh, waste to energy, I have shown the video, okay, uh, we can produce the electricity from the waste and we will get the gas and streams from the waste. From there, uh, we, we will get a lot of uh, helpful for the, okay, for the government, for also public, we will get the power, okay, where that. This is the process of uh, total uh, solid waste uh, management. Our government has taken major important uh, to the solid waste in Swachh Bharata, Modi government, uh, our uh, central government, okay. Indoor clean city like Indoor, some of the Hyderabad city, Tamil Nadu city, 
this uh, Mysore also be one time he got the award clean city okay lot of uh, this has been developing for this energy recycling process and lot of in the solid waste okay solid waste is a good subject okay uh, this we uh, get the knowledge uh, nowadays from this okay and uh, uh, this all the points what I told that is the important questions what uh, this uh, reference books is uh, available okay Indian authors and uh, foreign authors uh, I am also writing a uh, written one book it may be published uh, in some days okay okay thank you